Pandemic is a purely cooperative game in which players work together to cure four rampant diseases before they take over the health systems of the world. It's a race against the clock, so you're going to have to decide whether you're going to spend your time curing a disease or treating a city that's already infected. So in Pandemic, players are researchers from the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta who have to combine their unique abilities to save the world. The game supports anywhere from two to four players, and it plays out in about 60 to 90 minutes. There's also one expansion, On the Brink, which allows you to add a fifth player as well as adding new challenges, including the role of a saboteur. At the beginning of Pandemic, each player chooses one out of five special roles with abilities that will help you in your fight. You can also choose the difficulty of the game by deciding how many Epidemic cards are going to be in your Infection deck. Then each player gets a hand full of City cards, and the amount of City cards that you get depends on how many players are in the game. And finally, you, you lay out your first round of Infection cubes on the board. So this will show you which cities in the world are infected and which diseases are where. On their turn, a player can take four actions, and these can be anything from moving from city to city, sharing information with another player who's in the same city as you, building a research station or curing a disease, as well as treating the infection that's already going on in the city that you occupy. Many of these actions require the use of a city card. A city card has the name of a city on it and the color of the cure that can be found there. So traveling from a city to an adjacent city is free. However, if you want to travel from your city to one on another side of the world, then you're going to need to discard the city card for that particular city. If you discard the card for the city that you are in, you can build a research station. Research stations are great because that's where you're going to have to discover your cure. You can also travel between research stations on the globe for free. Any player who's in the same city as a research station can discard five cards of the same color to find the corresponding cure. And a cure makes it a lot easier to treat a disease. Normally, when you're in an infected city, treating a disease means removing one cube of that disease's color. However, if you've already found the cure, then you get to remove all of the cubes for that corresponding disease. After completing their four actions, each player draws two extra city cards and then moves on to take on the role of the infector. The infector draws infection cards and puts disease cubes on the board with the cities that they indicate. This can cause an outbreak. So if you get the fourth cube of a particular color on a city, an outbreak happens. This means that the infection spreads to nearby cities. This can cause a chain reaction of outbreaks in some cases, which can pretty quickly start to cover the globe in infection cubes. Now a neat twist in Pandemic is the Epidemic cards, which you can draw from the infection deck. These will immediately infect one city and are going to increase the amount of infection cards that are drawn on the next turn. The other thing they do is force players to reshuffle the entire discard pile and stick it back on top of the infection deck, which means that cities that have just been infected are going to get hit again really soon. Now obviously this is going to increase your chances of an outbreak or even one of those horrible outbreak chain reactions. Pandemic is a hard game to win. You have to find the cures for all four diseases. However, it is a very easy game to lose. You can lose it if you have eight outbreaks, if you run out of disease cubes for one particular color, or if you run out of city cards. So players are gonna have to work hard to stem those outbreaks, as well as decide whether to spend their time and their actions treating particular cities, or keep their city cards for more expensive and potentially more important actions like finding a cure for a disease. So one of the great things about Pandemic is its relatively simple rules and mechanics make it a really great introduction to challenging strategic cooperative games. The other thing that's really nice is because there are really unique roles for each player, everybody, whether they're a new player or super experienced, can feel like they've really contributed to whatever success you achieve or whatever failure ends up meeting you. Unfortunately, a downside of Pandemic is it can become a little bit formulaic once you figure out a good strategy for winning, so later on the game may feel a little bit repetitive or suffer somewhat on repeated playthroughs. Another con for Pandemic is the design. They could have done a lot more interesting things with their design. Instead, it ended up feeling a little bit ugly, potentially a little bit funny in terms of color. Could have done better. However, even with all of those cons, I love this game. Honestly, I think it's a great game, it's a lot of fun. One of my major pros is the fact that it is such a challenge. It's a really hard game to win, and I really like that element of games. So you're working together with everybody at the table, and you're trying to, to meet a goal that's very, very difficult, and I think that's great. 